Previously on Herman Hits the Road. Well, we had a leak a while back. That's rotten soft wood underneath there. By building a frame and then bonding our new yeah, piece of timber bit, in. Yeah, a bit of duct tape. There we go. Yeah? Yeah. Gosh. And I think you should give it a bit of a shock in here. Wow. Yeah, I'm into the bumper now. And that's the, that's the screws holding the bumper on. Oh no, he's got him! Right, uh, it is the following morning. Um, we Before we ended yesterday, uh, this is what it looked like. Uh, we put wood hardener all the way around here uh, to uh, make it obviously harder um, <laughs> uh, so it's a bit more of a, a solid base for us now we thought we couldn't take this bumper off but we, we're going to take the bumper off uh, there's a lot of rusted screws along there so we're going to take the bumper off and uh, that will gain, gain us access to this area and we're, therefore we can drill into the uh, body there and into uh, into our frame that we're going to be putting in that's the plan uh, and uh, we're halfway along undoing unscrewing this uh, this bumper if you can see that's rusted right in there yeah that is uh, one rusty screw it is, yeah and the head's completely gone so i tried to get it off there before as you can see so there's not, you're not going to get anything in there so the only way to do it is to drill that out yeah it actually looks like a rivet it's so it, badly yeah cut. yeah that's right um so trick is to get yourself a really good drill bit and the drill that you can control. Okay, now there's always a, a divot in there, which is, a, you know, so it's punching it, centre punching it, to get, start with your drill. But just don't go at it mad, like in a china shop. Get your drill on there, get it nice and firmly in that, the, the, the head where the screw or the rivet was, and just very gently get it going to get a start on it. Get a bite on it. And if you need to then, get a bigger drill bit. Now, yeah. you, now you've got to start on it and cut the head off. We'll probably get away with this one, but it might be an idea sometimes to get a bigger drill bit just to take the head off, you know? There you go. There you go. That's how then you should end up with the head Yeah. of the screw. Yeah, we're, we're not taking the screw out, we're just taking the head yeah. off. Yeah, that's right. And then yeah. once you've got the bumper off, you can then get in and take the screws out. Yeah. With a good pair of mold grips and some spray and you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready? Ready? Yeah. Wow, doesn't that look different now? Obviously not a bumper for bumping sake, since it's just a piece of plastic. But we're gonna need to drill through here so we can attach our frame. Well, so now we've got the bumper off, uh, we need to build the frame and, uh, and screw it into, or oh, fill up that hole basically. We need it to be strong though, because of course, things are gonna be put on here. We're not gonna be standing on here, but we need to, you know, this is where we store all our chairs and stuff and all our wine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing next. To construct our frame, we used 50 mil treated timber. Beauty. How about that for a fit? Wow. That's good, isn't it? The door don't shut, though. <laughs> now, we've got to take it out again yeah. and put the bottom on it. So what we've got is a tray made up, like so, um, and that's the size and shape of the floor that's missing was rotten as cut out and obviously this is um made out of the appropriate size timber and then we're going to put our uh, insulation in here like so and this will sick a flex in place and then be pinned along the wall back wall and on the side wall under the door and then through here to the existing floor and then there'll be another sheet of ply here 
that, that one, the smaller of the two, one's, uh, I think one's 3.6 mil, one's 5.5 mil. That will then go on the top here to sandwich the insulation. So you've got an insulated panel then. That's the old floor. As you can see, we marked up the sizes of the ply and the insulation. And we've made the panel up the same to go in to emulate what was there. So we'll insulate that with the insulation we got here. So we're making one of those to the shape of, of how it was rotten in the first place and then we'll pin it in and then once that's in place we'll then put another sheet inside the locker right the way across maybe a laminate floor or a bit of um a bit of ply or maybe some vinyl or something to finish it nicely but then but you will have your effectively your exact section that's missing made up on exactly the same composite of mm. the old floor to go back in again. Once this is in, we're gonna treat it. We've already treated all the raw edges of the floor we cut out with wood hardener. We'll pin this in, we're using screws that won't rust or rot. Quite important, spend the money. We said I'll go in there and stand in it. I might even do a little dance or something. You never know. No dancing, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> never lets me dance. To attach our new floor panel in place, we pre-drilled holes and used 120mm self-tapping stainless steel screws. Later, we covered the screw heads with Sikaflex to stop the moisture getting into the hole. So there we are, we've got it pinned now. Alright, what I'm doing here is I'm using this uh, template paper to make a template that will fit in there. It's a little bit over big, a bit over here. I'm making a set, I'm gonna make a template for there, a template for here, a template along here. Uh, and then Chaz is gonna cut that out on plywood and then we're gonna slot it all in. There we are, there's another template for it. Oh, look at the last one I did. that'll do what do you think oh yeah very nice very nice indeed sir yeah i'm liking that i'm liking it a lot governor yeah that's great yeah that is great that is superb actually okay so we're putting down the final uh piece of board now and that is looking really solid Scare the life out of me then! Sorry! I felt that in my knees <laughs> it vibrated away through the floor which is a good thing Sorry about that old chap Anyway there you go look at that Look at that A nice solid floor Right there There you go So um, yeah that is it now uh, obviously, we still need to uh, to do a few other things. We're gonna seal it up, seal it up and put a, maybe put a bit of vinyl across the top of it to cover up the uh, the wood. Also, underneath there is 50 mil insulation. That is nice and solid. Of course, these pipes these go underneath underneath here, like so. We made a bit of a mess with the. Uh, uh, st st sticker flex, but uh, we'll get that off. Job is almost done. Oh well, well, I say that, but we need to do the underside still, and uh, of course that looks like that. Um, we need to shore that up, make sure that it's uh, all sealed, because of course this is going to be exposed to the weather. Right, we're on our second evening now. It's now Tuesday, and uh, I just want to show you, uh, give you an update, really. Uh, as you can see from here, we've uh, filled in the gap that was here. Uh, so this is our new floor. Uh, obviously, it comes into the locker. So this, all this used to be rotten. Um, it's now nice and solid. It's been uh, treated with whatever this black stuff is. It's been filled in with uh, two-pack wood filler here just to fill the gaps. And uh, let me show you around a bit more.
Right, so no, not much progress here, except for now we've got a, a bolt in place that's connecting uh, the body to the chassis. Uh, all along here, we've had to take the trim off because we've had to treat the underside of this. And that is all nice and solid now, all the way to, well, just there really. And round the back, Here's our floor again, and that's where the floor finishes. So that is looking really good. And the task for today is fitting and wiring that bumper on. Mm. What have I got wrong? Nothing, nothing, nothing. What did you um for? Just how good you are. <laughs> but, mm, that was, yeah, that yeah, yeah, it was like a, it was like a, You didn't see me rehearsing ten times yeah, around the yeah, corner. It was like, it was like a, hmm. No, no, no. Mm. <laughs> so it's not just myself and Chaz working on Herman doing this corner here. I've asked Zoe to go and uh, find some vinyl flooring. Vinyl flooring. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what she chose. Take a look at that. Obviously, it's not stuck down yet, but uh, that fits in nicely. It's like a wood effect. It's quite thick as well. It's like almost three mil, I think. Um, and we've got another longer piece in case we wanted to go on top where the step is. I say a step, it's the, what covers all the pipes and whatever. But we'll need to stick that down and uh, then I think we'll probably be finished. Right, so now we're uh, just gonna start putting the trim on and uh, we cleaned up the old mastic, got rid of that, and now we've uh, oh, mastic it up and then screw it back on. Right, So we're using the original holes, but new screws. We cleaned and removed the mastic from all the trim, or so we thought, because we soon discovered we were missing a piece. Right, and the next one, please. And the next one's. What, what, what is the next one? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, you're done that's, with it. that's the last one. Yeah, where did you clean the last one from? I don't think I've seen it yet. Have you not cleaned it up, lad? Oh, come on. So it's that bit. Where's that bit? <laughs> <laughs> I've found it, Chess. Oh, <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> My spike Honestly. Do you know what? Camera, I'm right? going to have to sack you. <laughs> right, we're going to have to clean this on. <laughs> have you cleaned it all up? Yeah. Yeah, I've cleaned it all up. Yeah. Set this bit. I cleaned it all up, set the bit that I forgot. <laughs> After a bit more hair drying and applying new mastic, we'd run out of the white stuff, we fitted the last piece of trim. There's a long piece of rubbery trim that covers all the screw heads and makes it look neater. And then we finally fitted the wheel arch. All the screw holes were filled with mastic before fixing the screws. Well, we are almost there. Look at that, we just got the bumper to do. And finish off that, put the vinyl down. And then we are done. But we're gonna be doing that tomorrow. Oh, right, on. today we're going to sort out this locker, this door, because at the moment it doesn't catch. So uh, we need to uh, screw this to the new wood, that we, the new floor that we put in, and uh, put our latches on there so it actually shuts. What are you after? The measure. Are you, I think you're lying on it. A tape that I don't use oh, it's, it, it's um. It's me, your um, Mr. Little Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> My mate. I won't grab oh, yeah. it. I won't <laughs> grab it. No, no, no. <laughs> Tell you what, if that ever comes open, it's because it's been nuked. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I think this is right. Oh, it's a bit, <laughs> it catches a bit. Oh, right, this. Yeah. Oh, no, but no, ever no. so slightly, that it doesn't stop gonna, us. That means it's going to fit nicely. Yeah. I'm not worried about that one bit. I can Brilliant. 
Right, let's see if that works. Oh, no, see, that's actually it. <laughs> Go on, right, wait a minute. What did you do there? Why bending it? You're only bending wood. Well, I'm not going to bend the bracket. There you go. Nice and that's only on the jack on the left now. And that's on the right. Oh, she's a winner, kicking dinner. All right, that's the locker done. Now we're fitting the bumper, we've got a few wires that we've got to connect up and then we're going to mount it on old Herman. Old oh, Herman. <laughs> Alright, so um, we're still in the process of putting this bumper on and we've uh, discovered an uh, electrical short to that high level brake light up there. It's not working, it's blowing fuses and I'm running out. Um, and uh, well, basically it's this. What they've done is they've used speaker wire to come off of the rear light cluster, the offside rear light cluster, <laughs> up to the brake light. I mean, really. So what we're going to do, it's obviously pinched or got wet or shorting somewhere. I've tested this end of it out the light and I've actually got um, a, a good 12 volts out of it and I've got a good earth on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this with um, appropriate cable and then feed it through and run it up to the light and wipe it properly and terminate it properly. Yeah. But for now, so we can get these lights working, I'm going to tape these ends up, okay? So they're not going to short and make them safe. And then when we get the appropriate wire, we'll take the cluster off, remove this wire, and then feed it up because we're going to put the camera in. Yeah. So if we're going to do the camera and put the wire off the camera, we may as well do that wire in one go. I can heat strip the whole lot in one go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make a neat job of it. Great idea. That's about it, really. Yeah. Well, we've finally managed to sort out the these lights now. Uh, we still need to wire the... Uh, the high light, the brake, the brake light up there. Uh, but now we're going to put the bumper on. We're creating a new loom for that light up there, and uh, we need to push that up through the the roof. But um, right now we're going to put the bumper back on. Behind the high level brake light is this cupboard. This panel here needs to come out so we can get us access to the back. Well, we hope. To do that, I need to take that cupboard out. Ooh. That'll be it. The whole thing. Once the cupboard was removed, I had to carefully cut the polystyrene insulation with a Stanley knife and a trowel to remove the wire for the brake light. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, look at the mess we made. Cupboard, polystyrene, massive hole. We're going to use new wire for this. It is really quite thin. We've now wired in the high visibility brake light and put the cupboard back all nice and neat now. Uh, what we need to do now though is do the laminate flooring, the vinyl flooring. So um, I created my template. All right, my template doesn't look much until you see the axle flooring. So let's go and see if it actually fits. Good job, it's not raining. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. So it is about 98% perfect. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Not bad. Very good, I think. Very good. It has taken the whole weekend and five long evenings 
of fixing Herman. Um, I couldn't do any more recording last night um, because it got too dark. And uh, today, this is actually the first time that we're going to be heading out in Herman after the lockdown. So it's a bit of a bit of a rush, I suppose you could say. A bit of a panic. Anyway, let me show you what we've done, and uh, I want to get the first reactions from Zoe here. <laughs> so <coughs> now I don't think you're going to see much, to be quite honest. Yeah, no different. Oh yes. Wow, and you got, yes, this is what Zoe brought. That's the only thing you can really see. Oh, I see, and the rest of it's underneath. So this is vinyl, yeah, it goes all the way back there. Wow. And, uh, yeah, the actual floor, I don't even notice, is oh, risen yeah. by about, I don't know, 15 millimetres. So we have lost space. That's because this floor is quite thick. Yes. I mean, that's a... Well, that's vinyl, that's quite squidgy, so to make that sound is amazing. it looks like wood, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look like I wood. I did quite well there. You did choose a very good... But uh, yeah, I mean, you got some... Uh, we need to clean this up on the walls, but... Uh, Alright, we'll do that That's later. basically it. <laughs> so, what do you think? I think that looks very good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's better than it was. Oh, well done, so, Hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give us a thumbs up and uh, if you're really that interested in our, our stuff then maybe you should consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notif notification button to uh, tell you when we're actually uploading uploaded a video. I'm quite tired now. You sound tired. <laughs> and if you think we've missed something or you think you could do better, let us know in the comments section below. Until next time. Thank you very much and goodbye.